a letter, marked with a gray feather, tied to the ceiling rafters of Edelman's Incredible Instrument Emporium, Schoenberg, Baron. You know, the one thing that's been on my mind this whole time is how convenient this all is. I don't know if it's by design, you know, all of us coming together in one place after, what, 15 years? But it's still suspect. Dauntless and Kingly haven't left our little hidey hole since we arrived, but I saw Calico get off the boat and it was like seeing a ghost. It looks good, at least. Healthy. It feels like it would be so easy to say hello, but I can't even bring myself to do that. Sneaky habits die hard, I guess. The illusion of happenstance is our bread and butter. Our job is to make things look like they happen randomly. Am I just projecting? Is a career in the shadows making me jump at ones that aren't there? Gods, I hope not. Not even forty yet. I shouldn't be cracking under the pressure this early. Still, it's the kind of thing that makes you wonder. Well, you wonder, and then you see someone like Santana Fantastic, and a world completely lacking in sense and reason starts to sound a lot more realistic. I've been tailing her since she's the first guest to arrive in Schoenberg other than us, and she's without a doubt the most ridiculous individual I've ever observed. She knows she's being followed, and all she does is yell out fashion advice for better stealth ensembles. What kind of person does that? She'll grab a shirt off the rack and yell, This will go perfectly with your eyes! And then set it on a table and wink at the air. How this woman became the head of the ruling party of Resplendent, I can only imagine. If every dignitary being invited to this party is like this, I'm going to hand my hands full just dealing with the nonsense. Admittedly, the shirt does go with my eyes. Yeah, I just remembered, or I just remembered that it wasn't just Florian when we were running back in the day. It was Florian Nemo. What? I look at Nemo. Yeah, immediately everyone turns to Nemo. Is Nemo Nemo here? We all slowly turn to look at Nemo. Nemo is here. He freezes with a chip halfway to his mouth. (laughs) Uh, Bud, do you... Yes. You, uh, you know her? No. Florian. Florian Van Archen. Can I do my quest so I can see if he's lying? Can I take uh, a quest? <laughs> you can take a quest this second. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you could, if you want. Uh, what's my quest? I don't know. What's your quest? Oh, uh, shit. You picked the quest. I didn't do it through. Uh, protect, protect the, protect the Titans from the people who are gonna definitely try to kidnap us. That's really specific. Um, I mean, I could just not take the quest and just be, yeah, he's no, lying. No, yes, sure. and. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's up to, I just, yes. Um, I guess we would just add a second blank at the end of, from the Benictus that have set, uh, beset them at the ball. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gala. Okay. It's a gala, gala, not a ball. At, at the, the gala. gala. At the gala. At the gala. At the gala. Okay. Is he lying? Well, choose your. <laughs> no, cho- I need yeah, to choose, choose my shit. Um, I want. Um, I want senses of pierced lies. Okay, which sense? All of them. Of uh, instinct, heart. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Is that your only one? <laughs> uh. I mean, if I can pick multiple senses, it's all of the senses. Someone lies and you're just like, ah, as you're overwhelmed with sound and sight. <laughs> no, I mean, you, cho- you you choose up to two boons. Yeah, one of them is senses that pierce lies. The other one okay. is, um, I guess 
it's like well established that everyone here speaks quote unquote common, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because we're about to go into a party and I was like, huh, if I said transcends language wouldn't be too bad, but I don't know. Um, I feel like that's still good because that's like a social one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's going to be make things a lot simpler for you if you, I mean, hopefully, th- th- like you'll now know that going into this political ma- machinations game that you're going to know whenever anybody is lying. Yeah, nobody can talk shit behind my back. I know all of the languages now. They can talk shit behind <laughs> your back. They just yeah. can't do it while you're in the room. <laughs> um, uh, okay. Okay. What is my vow or vows? You are uh, bound to the vows of temperance. You are forbidden from gluttony and food, drink, and pleasures of the flesh. Sure. Oh, <laughs> no fucking variety. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 like rich food either. Yeah. All right. Um, and uh, let's say honor. You're forbidden from cowardly tactics and tricks. Okay. This sucks. <laughs> he can't eat and he can't scheme. <laughs> but I can, but just to be clear, I can lie, right? Hell yes, yeah. you can lie. You just Hell can't yeah. scheme. Radiant Ire can lie. <laughs> can lie. Uh, refrain from sex. <laughs> can lie, can't fuck. Can't lie, can't fuck, Rasane from Sex Baby. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Anyway, Nemo's standing there, chip in hand. Yes. The guac is falling off of it, and he catches it. And he says, ah, oh, shit, my guac. Uh-huh. And he says, who are you talking about? I just walked in and got some, some food. We're in the galley is of the lying? ship. I'm establishing that we're in the galley of the ship. Is he lying but by asking a no, question? No, is he lying that no. he said he was just about to get food? That he wasn't listening? He he was just about to get food. He's okay, not lying. But he wasn't listening at all, is what I want to know. No. Okay. Just, Man, we are like dissecting this yeah, sentence. It's, this is Ace Attorney <laughs> Investigations up in here. I'm going to scrutinize every single inch of the sentence. Um, Florian van Archen. Yeah, she's the uh, the new boss, right? She was like a merc. And you were married to her? What? <laughs> no. <laughs> is he lying? Yeah, is he lying? No, he's not lying. <laughs> he's not lying? No, he was never married to her. Did you know her. her? I don't know. Is he lying now? No. <laughs> Are y'all like, I don't know, from the same place or something? I sincerely doubt it. Is he lying now? No. <laughs> uh, I, have... <laughs> I will tell you if he lies. Okay. Bar- Bartimaeus, um, how did you get the name Nemo? Uh, it means no one. Oh. It's, uh... Oh, it's like a bastard name. Kind of. No, he doesn't say he doesn't say that out loud. Bartimaeus Snow out here. He does not say out. He doesn't say that out loud. Mari yeah. said that out loud. Yeah, I uh, I had a different name before I came to the archipelago, but uh, it didn't seem right to use it here, and so I took a different one. Wait, 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 wait! You you weren't you weren't born on the archipelago? No. Where did you come from? Uh, another place. <laughs> what, Three facts which, about Nemo. Would you like to uh, tell us what that other place was? Not right now. <laughs> you are one annoying <laughs> motherfucker. Yeah, I don't know. I don't like to get interrogated every time I walk into a room. He's not <laughs> lying about that either. He really enjoys it. <laughs> well, okay. So, so if she was called Nemo as well... Do, like, is that a name that people who move from the archipelago, I mean, from outside the archipelago, uh, commonly take? C- can we assume that maybe she has a similar sort of origin? Maybe. I mean, it's kind of like an old school name. It's like, you know, like, like a cla- like somebody who likes like classical history would take it. I don't know. Maybe she's a maybe she's a nerd. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure, that's likely. 
<laughs> it's funny because like only Radiant knows that he's not lying, so everyone else is probably like, hmm. <laughs> I, I, I mean, <laughs> I take him for what he's saying. He, he's not a liar. He hasn't lied to me in a lot in a while. In fact, he's never <laughs> lied. He's never lied to me. He's concealed the truth, but he's never lied. Yeah. It's 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 interesting how you can say how you can do that. If Nemo keeps on the theft, maybe Radiant will trust him. Maybe. 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 Um, but that's super. I mean, I I will admit that that's super fucking weird that she has my name, uh, or had my name because I thought I was the only one who had that name. Copyright. That's not. It's not common. Wait, didn't didn't you say it was like a classic name? Why yeah. would no one else have it? Like a thousand years ago, classic. Why do you have a thousand year old name? Because I'm like a nerd. I'm like Is he a lying? weird. <laughs> so you admit it. <laughs> Zach will tell you if he's lying. <laughs> no, yeah, he's, I just he's, want to know um, he's a thousand years he, old. He like it like pings a little bit. Is, are you a thousand years old, Nemo? No, Radian. I am not a thousand years old. Are you older? <laughs> Then a thousand years? For shrugs. Adeline from just sort of like the other side of the room, like, how old do you th- how long do you think elves live? Okay, maybe we should uh, stop interrogating Nemo. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, my yes. favorite hobby. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's Nemo's been very, very nice about answering all of our questions and I think we should we leave him alone for a bit, right, Nemo? Yeah. Leave me alone. Nemo defense squad over here. <laughs> well, we got a Nemo apologist. <laughs> Nemo, Nemo, like he like picks up a tray of food and walks out to the door, and he says, "I'm older than you think I am, though." Then he walks out. What does that? What does that mean? You're an elf. I don't so know how he's elves over age. Over a thousand. No, he's not a. Wait, he didn't. Did he answer that question? See, I can tell if people are lying. He's got. A, I got a sense for it. Sure, idiot. <laughs> um. Charlie Axel, who is also there and is eating like a uh, ribeye steak, or oh, he's got, no, he's got one of those like bones with meat on it. Oh like yeah, from, like from the animes, and he's got that, and he says, "Hell yeah!" I bet, I bet he's a million. Maybe he is a million. How much are you betting? <laughs> Please don't gamble. <laughs> oh, I ain't doing that no more. I'm not a gambling man, no sir, Bob. <laughs> Dark <Stop> past. <laughs> <laughs> The dark past of Charlie Axel. Charlie Axel's yeah. gambling debts. <laughs> Charlie Axel's on the run for some loan sharks. Next season, next Odd Sog season, we go to a casino. Odd Sog. Uh, there's probably some casinos in uh, like Resplendent. That seems like that kind of deal. Let's 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 get some duds. Let's get some clothes. Get some... So here's what's up. You make landfall in Baron. You just look up, like you you come up from the from the from the bottom decks of the ship. Uh, you're on the hand to hand. Daria is, is is captaining it. He just looks up. He sees the sprawling mountains and pine forests of Baron. Uh, it is it is m- rapidly approaching midsummer, so it's not cold, but it's colder than it is down south. Um, you can see that there's a snow on some of the the distant giant peaks. I just want to remind everyone uh, that uh, if Galeria was tower south, then Baron is probably Tower North, so everybody be be careful. Where do you where do you think the tower is? Well, I don't know. Um, tower South was in two lanes, so uh, maybe Tower North is uh, yeah, it could be anywhere. Well, we could ask around, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, let's ask around about ancient technology. Do you think that guy is still alive? Which guy? It's been a minute. It's been a month since I heard from him. The message that we got at the end of uh, the line in Tulane was, it was, it was current, Radiant. Right, that's, but like, if he's alone in a tower. Well, I mean, it seems like he survived ten years. I, I don't think, I don't think one more month is gonna, gonna do him in. Or them, I should say. Yeah, them. That's what they always say. <laughs> they died immediately. Also, if they had been in some sort of peril, like trapped in the tower, no food, I'm sure they would have said, like, also, hey, rescue <laughs> <the> me. <laughs> P.S. Come over, my mom is in hell. <laughs> <laughs> the last 
The last titan left alive. What, what do you think he meant by that? Or they meant by that? D- did you mention that, t- that you were a titan? No, the only message I got out was that the tower was activating and I asked who they were. I wonder if they will take kindly to not being the last titan left alive. Uh, well, uh, eh, hopefully they're friendly. I mean, I mean, not that any of the Titans could still be alive. It's been a very long time, and um, I assume it's just it's going to be some sort of like fanatic or something who's found the tower and set up. Surely. How long do elves live? Not a thousand years. <laughs> did we? Do we say like three hundred, Zach? Uh, I mean, like a couple hundred is 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 pushing it. Okay. Um, yeah. The more an elf is exposed to magic, the longer they tend to live. Mm. Oh hell yeah! Super magic elf. Even that has a like a limit. Yeah, a thousand year old elf would be like, oh, a thousand year old person still. <laughs> the, the tree from Pocahontas. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I would say like a thousand year old elf would be like a five hundred year old person, maybe. Yeah. yeah. So you make landfall in in Baron. You, uh, you, you. I don't have a name for the port city, but there's a port city. That's a nice, pretty town. Um, it's, you know, every, everything here is very pretty. You're in the Argent sector of Baron. Um, so everything is, is, is covered in like light blues and whites and grays, uh, in terms of like government buildings, but there's a lot of colorful buildings. It's very like Bavarian in that sense. Uh, if you look at like, like historical Bavarian villages. Oh yeah. Nice. Or even mm. German, uh, mm-hmm. cities. Um, lots of uh, like, like the the buildings, the wood of the buildings, like or like the plaster or, or whatever it is, like the stucco of them are like painted bright colors, or they have these, um, you know, these these brightly colored bricks. Um, a lot of a lot of pattern bricks in the in the um, in like the floor, the ground. Uh, a lot a lot of bricks in general. Hmm. They're they're next to Roche, which is the the the, the stone mason. Uh, family and they have a, a good relationship with them. It is very developed here. Um, you see, like like steam wagons and and you know trains crisscrossing. A lot of the trains have m- like m- uh, marble railways on them, uh, like the logo. Remember that guy? Oh shit! Oh no, he's gonna be at this fucking party. Mm. So you arrive uh, after a couple of like a day for a day's like journey from the the port. Is Schöneberg or or Schöneberg? It's a very colorful. Um, a lot of it's lot. You see a lot of metal. Uh, like there is, there are um, big, like like metal statues of people. There's like in the center of a the town. There is the there's sort of like a big like you know iron statue of a blacksmith like at work on the anvil uh, on the, at the forge. Um, this place has the um, a metallurgical guild. It's like a whole big thing. And also, from the town, you can see Castle S- Silverhome, which is the ancestral house of the, uh, of the, of the Argent dynasty. And that, I actually have like a, a literal castle that exists in the world that is my reference for it. And then it is a, a Nuschfanstein castle. Which is in Germany, in Schwangau. Wow! And so people can look it up, and it's a it's a very so beautiful. This is where we're going, huh? That's where you're going. That's where it is. Uh, but you can't go till tomorrow. Oh! Because that's when the party starts. It starts as midsummer begins. The the week of midsummer. How long is the party? Uh, a couple of days, probably. Uh, huh. Maybe 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 a week. Fuck yeah! Hell yeah! Nobody go home. It goes home. It's a party yeah. all the time. You'll you'll be given like like lodgings on site. Ooh, obviously, fancy castle rooms. Yes. <laughs> no, they're gonna make you camp out in the lobby. Yeah. No, it's, <laughs> uh, Radiant would do it. Radiant would not question it. Yeah, but as it stands, you have to find lodgings in Schöneberg tonight. Okay. Uh, because that is where you are currently. Um, you arrive around early afternoon. The city is a buzz. You see people in, in, in various colored uniforms walking around. Um, you see people in, oh, an explosion of different 
styles of clothing. Pretty much every region of the archipelago is on display here as people from Valentina, from Castellon, from, from, from Zoyat, from the other families of Baron, from Galeria are all just here and mingling. Uh, it seems like, like most of the, of the invitees of the party of the gala have brought their own entourages to do the same thing that you're doing with Charlie and Calico, which is like to, to be their, their folks on the outside in case they need help. Um, oh, this is a fight party. Does everybody look like really <laughs> nicely dressed? Uh, yes. Oh, great. <laughs> I, I want to say that I'm wearing my normal, I'm wearing my full gear. Like, <laughs> I look like a dorky, stupid adventure. <laughs> Ford's wearing like a fantasy yeah. tank top. Hell yeah. It's summer. Guns out. Sun's out. Sun's it out, is summer. Out. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, there's people from all over. And, you know, dwarves and elves and, and humans and, and orcs and goblins and kushaki and uh, even a couple of lagonals walking around. Are there are there kobolds? Are there kobolds anywhere other than Lotad? Probably. Uh, if there are, they aren't here. Not, probably, like, probably not rich kobolds, but like, yeah. Yeah, maybe, but yeah, not, not here, not in anybody's entourage. Yeah, here. Um, and yeah, that place is just, the, the whole town is a buzz with, with discussion of like, oh my gosh, we're here. They're letting us into Silverhome. It's been years since anyone's been to Silverhome. It's, it's like a whole, it's like a big deal. What's so special about Silverhome? I ask a passerby. Oh, don't you know? It's the, it's the ancestral home of the, of the Argent dynasty. It's, they're famously reclusive, especially the new matriarch. People haven't seen her in the last couple of years. She she kind of, you know, became secluded and 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 worked on. Uh, <laughs> it is literally yeah. It's really it's really fucking Wonka. It's the Wonka factory. Silverhome is the Wonka factory. <laughs> we got the golden. Oh, chicken. nobody eat We're anything. All fucking dead. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna sing us a stupid ass. Da, 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 da. You shouldn't have punched the guard in the face. <laughs> what cardinal sin? Uh, it's very good. Uh, I is just... a TV guy. <laughs> yeah. 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 Nobody's allowed to be the, the blueberry inflation <laughs> one. No inflation on my podcast. Oh, what? That's bullshit. Uh, I quit. I quit. Uh, this, is, this is kink shaming. I don't stand for this. Yeah, this is bullshit. <laughs> yeah, you heard it here, folks. Mari Costa supports inflation. I support the right to kink. <laughs> hey, when you hear the word inflation, does it sound good or sound bad? <laughs> it it sounds, depends. It some sounds in- just awful. Zachary, I will have you know that so- uh, some level of inflation is good for the economy. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let us let us divert. What do you do as you as you walk as you come into to? to to God, you've got the carts, don't you? You've got the fucking carts, and they got big robots in them. Nobody Have knows you brought they up- got their statues. Those are statues. hidden. Yes, covered tops. They cover with tops. Mm-hmm. The secrets. Yes. Um. Do you? Do you, did you bring all four? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Of course, I brought mine for sure. Just, yeah, just verifying. Yeah. All right. Uh, yes, yeah, so, so, I mean, what I was about to ask is, is you have arrived in, in, in Schoenberg, um, you need lodgings for the night, Nemo can probably take care of those if you want, but if you want to have an active, uh, role in that, you can. What, uh, what are you doing for this evening? I want to stack up a little bit. Okay. I want to buy two this is, this potions. Is, this is a, this is a wealthy place, so you can buy anything on the, on the gear list. I just need two healing potions, and I assume that I don't need to worry about rations, because I assume we're going to a fancy party and they'll have food. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Is my thing about indulging, does that mean that I can't eat any kind of fancy food, or just, like, fancy food in excess? Mmm, well, uh, let's look at it. It says gluttony in food. I'm assuming he can eat to survive. Yeah, you can eat to survive. Okay. You just gotta, you just gotta get the, you know, get the, the, the <laughs> you gotta, you gotta order your food without spices. Yeah. Oh, I'm ready. I'm just, I'll just have some plain rice, some bread crusts. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Effectively. Just water for me. I'm ready and I. 
Um, so yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, if, if anyone wants to get anything. Yes, I want to, I just want to buy two healing potions. Okay. Yeah, you got those. Those are, those are what, 50 coins a piece? Yes, but Nemo has a skill that I believe makes those cheaper. That is true. Nemo oh, yeah. has, has, man, let's, let's crack, let's crack open the NPC follower. Uh, how much coin do we have, by the way? Did, did we get paid? Yeah, you got paid at the end. Yeah, of we it. got paid two hundred. Yeah. Uh, yes, you got paid two hundred at the end. Of it. Uh, yeah, so he has minstrel four, which means that he can reduce the cost of anything you buy by four coins. So that makes it ninety two dollars for two ninety two coins for two uh, potions. Yes, and they take uh, Galerian dollars because they do not have their own um, Baron. Like Baron doesn't mint coins; they trade in in material goods. Um, or favor. Huh. Uh, like, like you can be like, yeah, I got, I, uh, here's a signed, here's a signed declaration of favor from one of the, like, you know, a lieutenant of a family, and it means I get, like, this much worth stuff. Seems like a wild way to live. Yeah, I mean, they also take money. Okay, good, I was gonna, I, I have money. <laughs> they just don't mint their own money. <laughs> oh, okay, right, right, right. That's good. Um, be- because favors are more important than money. How much is it for c- new clothes? Because I got, like, this one outfit, and it's not ball appropriate. <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh, let's look. Let's look at, 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 at things. Ah, shit, if we save up a million coins, we can buy a castle. Oh, let's Wait. do it. <laughs> Hell do, yeah. Do, do we need new clothes? I, I was just going to wear this. Oh. oh, we are going to a party, yeah, Zara. No, we that's, we can't. That's- Super not gonna work, Zara. No, absolutely not. You are not going to wear this. Oh boy. Oh, who's speaking? Hello, who are you? <laughs> who said that? <laughs> um, you see a jewel scarab dwarf. Hell yeah. She has got this like iridescent goldish green shell. Um, and is wearing like very avant garde fashionable clothes. She's, she's like an emerald carapace, but with like, like, it's Ed, yes, it's Edna, it's Edna mode. <laughs> um, like a gilded carapace with, with, with like, like jewels and stuff on it. She is looking at all of you and she, she also is flanked by, uh, an extremely tall ruby dwarf. Like he's like a like a, a Hercules beetle. He is six feet tall. Hell yeah! Uh, but he's a beetle, so he's hell a dwarf. yeah. Wait, is he also a dwarf? He's a beetle. He's just a big one. He's a really big one. Rare really big, big one. I love it. Big dwarf. Love it. Yeah. Big boy. We subvert expectations here on Roll Dice. Breaking all the rules. And but she says um. My name is Santana Fantastic, and you will be my new discovery, I am sure. You are here, which means you are important, and I do not know you. So I will make sure you are worth knowing. Awesome. Um, um, cool name. We're the Titans. <gasps> I don't know what that means, but it sounds extremely interesting. Yeah. It means we're heroes. <laughs> it means we're here is what it means. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's right. Ta-da! That, in the first place, is the problem. You cannot self-deprecate. You cannot build yourself as anything less than fantastic. Hell yeah. And I would know. It's my name. <laughs> yeah, wouldn't that mean we're, like, stealing your brand if we also bill ourselves as fantastic? No. For okay. I will not stop until the world is fantastic. All right. I mean... I lean over to Adeline and I go, what the hell's wrong with this lady? Shh. Ford is living. He loves this. <laughs> All right. You will come with me and we will go to the boutiques. Hercules, grab their bags. Oh, his name is Hercules. <laughs> she claps. He says, uh, uh, Harry, my name's Hercules. I'm, uh, I'm the chauffeur. I can get your stuff. Thank you. Where is this accent from? <laughs> <laughs> you know, Castellan. Around. <laughs> but yeah, so Hercules Hercules grabs all your stuff, and he's extremely strong, and picks up all your bags with one hand. Hell yeah. Uh, please, please be careful with mine. Uh, it's, there's a lot of very sensitive uh, 
materials in there. Oh, all right, all right, yep, 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 yep. And he he takes he has four arms because he's a beetle. Hell yeah! Um, and he puts your bag and holds it with one hand and holds the rest of them with one arm. Damn, bro, you lift. <laughs> uh, yes, uh, yes, yes. I lift a, a lot. I'm I'm very strong. Of course, trying to figure out how to make those guys work out, buddy. Well, I mean, I'll be at the party, so, you know. Awesome. So Santana Fantastic takes you to all the boutiques. I don't know buck shit about fashion, but she does. So I need everybody to tell me their most incredible fashionable outfits. I, well, first of all, when when it gets to Zara's turn, um, I protest constantly. But when I find out that, it's, that I can't do anything and I will be made fabulous, I say I require... That my dress go down to my uh, ankles, and I require uh, s- some sort of sleeve, but preferably like a long. I think what we end up with is like gloves that go all the way up the sleeve, but it's very important. Yeah, nice. no, s- no skin showing. <laughs> what skin? <laughs> no fur. No fur. No fur showing, <laughs> except for except for on the head. All right, I've got I've got this. I'm so ready. Does, sorry, right. everyone knows Samira Wally from Orange is the New Black. I'm aware of her. Yes. So, when she got married, her wife wore this, like, pantsuit with a cape, which was, like, the sickest shit anyone's ever worn in their life ever. I'm going to link Hell some yeah. pictures. I'm going to link some pictures. Link it. Oh, I see. I see. Um, And the cape. The cape Hell can yeah. come off. Oh, that's dope. Oh, I love it. Look at this from the back, but I think not not white because that is very wedding. Maybe uh, <laughs> red or black. Red. Uh, or red and black. Oh, maybe like black with red, like under it, the, under the cape, like inside the cape. Oh yes, absolutely. No, I love that. Yes. Yeah. Like the inside of the cape. Yes. Yeah. So yes, that's what she's wearing. <laughs> What's Daria wearing? I demand to know. Oh my god. Yes. What is Daria wearing? <laughs> Uh, I uh, will defer to the girlfriend. Um, somebody else do say what they're wearing while I think about this. <laughs> All right. Um, I think Ford's like coat-wise, it's something like this, and a little bit more of maybe like a seventeen. You got to describe it. We're a podcast, <laughs> right? I will in a second. I just need the okay. reference. It's a little okay. bit more of like a like a seventeen hundreds look, crossed with a modern suit and he has this um long kind of it's not a trench coat um Mm -hmm. but it's a long coat kind of flares out at the bottom and uh he looks at um not edna he looks at santana fantastic goes i need something (laughs) that would make um an ex or people who uh you know just pardoned me jealous (laughs) fantastic yes that is the energy you must be holding. Is Ke- is Kevin going to be at this party? I don't know, but Ford's not taking any chances. <laughs> yes, energy. Bring it. The fierceness. Oh my god. <laughs> well, maybe maybe not the fierceness, but No, you are you are a wild, you are a a, a a barely restrained animal of strength and ferocity, raw animal magnitude. But you maintain the veneer of civility. Uh, <laughs> All right, sure, we can do civil. <laughs> <laughs> we can be civil. <laughs> um, I think actually Zara goes with a a, a tuxedo. Ooh. <gasps> Hell yeah! yeah. Like yes. black and white tuxedo with a bow tie. That sounds good. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah! Good for our bunny friend. No, no, no! With one of those, one of those like weird bow ties. Hold on, I've got the exact thing. I've got it exactly. Um. I don't know how to describe it. I don't know what it's called, but I'm going to link a picture and someone else hopefully can describe it. Uh, so it's like a tuxedo, uh, but the tie is like, got like it's a little bit longer, but it's like a bow tie. What is that called? I would call that a ribbon tie. So it's like, it's like a, it's like a mix between a bow tie and a bolo tie. Yes. It's, correct. A, it's a long, it's like a, a long, it's a long bolo tie. It's a long bow tie with a, bolo with a ribbon. Tie. It's a bolo tie. It's a long, it's a long bow tie. But yes, yeah, a tuxedo. Otherwise, Depper oh, yeah. Zara. Does she have the, the 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 frills at the end of her sleeves, like the cuffs? Yes, she has flirt frills on the cuffs. Yes, hell yeah, hell yeah. Um, also, I I I ask uh, what, when it's getting fitted. I ask for one size up. Okay, and that's non negotiable. 
Mm-hmm. Just just one size up on on uh, the on everything. <laughs> are you uh, are you gonna wear your gear under that? Uh for you are not in this conversation. Only um only <laughs> That's fair. only fabulous fantastic is. Yes, fabulous fa- Santana and fabulous fantastic says. Are you absolutely because I am? I have an extremely. Uh, extremely let's... accurate eye for, for, for sizing and measurements. Yes, and... let's just say I'm going to need a little extra room. For Jesus. For Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> for my friend Jesus. <laughs> Look, can, can, you just, can you just leave a little extra room for me? <laughs> Certainly. I, if it looks bad, well, mm, actually, <laughs> you have to tell her or she won't. Or you have to convince her. Leave a little extra room for me, please. Charisma check. Roll, roll, roll. Cur- roll, yes, roll, that's, roll. That's a, that's a I am a check. sheriff's deputy, and you'll do as I say. Oh my god. Yes. I pull out my oh. seal. Is the seal of the glaring admiralty going to work here? Absolutely not. She doesn't give a fuck about that. Okay. <laughs> Does she want to smoke up? She's a Castellonian. <laughs> Does she want to have some... Yeah, pipe she's leaf. got like a she's got like a long and skinny cigarette holder at all times. Sure, I give her some of the pipe leaf. Um, I guess she's also Cruella Deville in a sense. Hell yeah! And that's the last of my pipe leaf. Okay, give me a parlay with the okay. plus one. Hold on, let me remove the pipe leaf, and the parlay is um, charisma, right? It's charisma. All right, so it's this plus one. I uh, eleven. That's an eleven. She looks at you. She looks at you and she says, I can see beneath this terrified rabbit veneer, you have the beating heart of a champion. The stalwart, steely iron will to make what you need to happen, happen. Very well. I will do this for you. Thank you. On one condition. Model my next fashion line. (laughs) (laughs) Collaborate with me. What do you mean? Obviously, you are a uh, 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 industrial mind, a creative like myself. Well, I believe that your uh, contributions would do the Kaleidoscope con- uh, Coalition well. Well, let's just say that um, if you can make a little extra room and have the fabric stretch a little bit, I think. Uh, I think everybody will, uh, well, hopefully, actually, nobody will notice, uh, but, but if they have to, I think everybody will notice what a good job you did. <laughs> I always do a good job, darling. <laughs> so we, next week, we have Daria ready in the email. I have more to add, if y'all want. <laughs> but I can go later. Oh, do it. Um, it's longer than, like, an 18th century coat. Um... And the proportions of the vest under it um, aren't as, like, low as the, like, 18th century kind of under vest uh, to a fancy outfit is. Because I just, I like those um, kind of more, I guess, 19th century proportions better. Like uh, a waistcoat. Yeah, yeah. So it's oh. um, it's definitely a little like, anachronistic. And... Yeah. Um, I think it's in like uh, gold colors all around, kind of gold and black. Very fancy, oh, fancy, yeah. fancy, fancy. All right, who wants to go next? I guess it's just Radiant, and then we have the NPCs. All right. Um, so I actually I drew a picture of Radiant in fancy clothes, and this tweet says February eight, which was fifty million years ago. So don't go looking for this art; it's bad. Um, it's not. It's old. I'll redraw it. Um, it still holds up the actual outfit. Um, it's like a, I think the only thing I would change is I'd make, he's got like a, he's got like a little suit and instead of a suit, I'd make it like a waistcoat. So he's got like the little, you know, the sleeves that are poofy. Uh huh. He's got those instead. Um, and a waistcoat. And maybe instead of the cape, I was looking at like ancient Greek fashion and there's a thing called a clamus that I will link right now, and it's Ooh, like a, a it's like a wrap around ca- cape. It's cute. Ooh. Oh, I can dig. I can dig oh, that. I love that. Ooh, that looks yeah. awesome. I dig it. Oh, cute. It fits more with the general aesthetic. Yeah. 
Uh-huh. The, the Greek Bayou. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. All right. Nemo is wearing a... Oh, I guess you would call it an electric blue suit. Love it. Um, uh, cool. He has... He is wearing turquoise accents. Um, it is in his... The buttons on, on his jackets and his cufflinks are, are all turquoise. The stone. Uh, like polished turquoise. Mm-hmm. Um... He has a uh, crystal walking stick that is transparent. Um, that has that has uh, a big B carved into the top of it, uh, and he has uh, like like these these really snazzy alligator skin shoes with lifts. Oh, I love him! <laughs> and, and he is wearing he is wearing a cape. Uh, but it's an off the it's an off the shoulder cape, oh, and it Jeff is Goldblum. yeah, uh, and it is it is like um, like like snake skin, but like turquoise. Sorry, what's the texture on this? Just like rugged, <laughs> like a rugged cape. Um, it's 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 like smooth snake skin. Uh huh. You know. Like snakes. No, I I dig it. It's just like it's a lot. Snake skin cape. <laughs> How many snakes did he kill? I love it. I love it so much. How many snakes, did he, no, How many snakes did he personally murder to make the cape? It's art. It's a. It's artific- It's 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 artificial snake. <laughs> Nemo went out into the woods and killed fifty snakes. Yeah, it was part of his. It was part of the uh, the the Goldshire uh, intro quest. <laughs> Oh, that's that's funny. That sounds sarcastic, but I like that. That's funny. Thank you. Technically, the Goldshire is not the starting uh, zone. That was the only one I could remember. It's actually Northshire Abbey. But... All right. Um, and he's also he is he's still got his bright blue hair, uh, but he's growing a beard. Oh, God bless. What oh, color man. is his beard? Handsome yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, it's white. It's white. This is oh, a my look. God. No, it's oh white. His hair, his hair is, is unnatural. Is dyed. This is a look. Oh, yeah, and he's got, and he's got, um, he's got tinted glasses. Oh, he's so there. much. Oh, man. <laughs> God. I, I think when I see when I see him, I'm like, wow, uh, you really don't do anything half-ass, do you? There is too much that wants to kill me for me to live life as anything less than the absolute utmost. <laughs> I see the glasses, and I turn to Santa Ana Fantastic and go, can I get a pair, too? <laughs> Absolutely. Not. Oh, I love, I love... Are you going to get matching glasses? Matching. No, match. absolutely not. <laughs> uh, so that's so that's fucking Nemo. Does um does Gal- Galeria have, like, uh, uh, like, national colors? Like, any sort of color theme? Uh... I think their colors depend on the uh, branch of the of the navy. Okay, tell um, me because there's the three there's the three admirals. She's got a coat. Tell me what color it should be. Is what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, um, and if she's going to maintain, if she's maintaining Galerian colors. Oh theory, wait, no, because they're getting made. Never mind. What color does she? I just no legally. You have to stop me from doing this. But can I just say Hal's with Hal from Hal's Moving Castle with the coat? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Howl's moving how can, how can you Howl. not know this off just from the, the everyone should have this burned into their brain at all times it's like the um it's a very good coat it's it's like it's like a great big coat that he's wearing like a cape and not actually like a coat and just like a baggy white shirt yeah pe- yeah white it's, pants. it's got like the it's got like the ch- the the diamond yes checkers yes on it. that 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 outfit so she's wearing Howl's she's wearing outfit. that outfit exactly yeah okay it's it is red and it is red and blue yeah uh, but like deep maroon and deep navy, yeah. uh, with gold trim. Yes. And she has a pirate hat. Fuck yeah! Hell yeah! Oh, what a good look! <laughs> yes. Everyone's dressed. Hell Everyone's yeah. dressed, and then you have to take off all the clothes and put them in like a, a suitcase so that you can wear them to the gala itself. <laughs> I think Ford has like one last thing to ask of 
uh, Santana. And then it's like, hey, can you make a glove that fits over this gauntlet? <laughs> Ford's big hand. <laughs> Ford's big hand. I would never. <laughs> this gauntlet is a piece of, of, of beautiful craftsmanship, and you should wear it for your, your costume, your, your, your outfit. Cool. It's a perfect accessory. I know for Noted. a fact that um, if people aren't going to gawk at armor. There's going to be at least one person in full armor at this gala. Okay. Hell cool. yeah. That's, uh, the, that's the guy to meet. So how much do we owe you? For this, you owe me a visit to Resplendent. Oh. Come and find me at the Kaleidoscope Coalition. Awesome. Yeah, we'll do it. Wonderful darkness. Hello, and thank you for listening to Roll Dice and Cry. This is your friendly neighborhood GM, Zach, in the interlude. Uh, just a couple of things to say. Life Melody Kickstarter is still ongoing. Almost fully funded. It might even be fully funded by the time that you hear this. But even if it's fully funded, let's try to get those stretch goals funded too. Not sure exactly what they're going to be, but from what I've heard about them, they're going to be really good. They'll be revealed once the goal is hit and as as the campaign continues. I've also got two iTunes reviews this week that I'm going to read. Uh, these are these are some early ones going back into the archives from PK Lucky Green. They say exceptionally fun. Each week, I've been excitedly waiting for these guys to update, and it's worth it every time. The podcast is just so fun. All the characters are great, and the DM is too. Thank you. It already went somewhere I wasn't expecting. It just started. But now I'm even more excited for where it's going to go from here. I can't wait to see these wonderful characters and the world they're in develop. That was in April. That was April 4th. Hopefully, PK, things have continued to be interesting. I also got one with a question on everyone's mind. Uh, this one is from King True, all the way back in February. It says, why so few reviews? Just the two of us? That's weird. That's weird. Anyway, this is a great pod. Thank you, King True. Uh, there's some more reviews still in the can that we'll get to next week, but that's what we got for now. As with every week, uh, remember to check out Mari's webcomic Perrytale at perrytale.com, as well as Emily's webcomic The Blue Valkyrie at bluevalkyriecomic.tumblr.com. Thank you so much again for coming with us on this journey through the On the Shoulders of Giants. It's definitely been a wild journey for all of us as we figured out this podcasting thing and tried to hit the ground running, and we're so excited to use all that we've learned of this final arc of the season, as well as future seasons. We've got some really cool and interesting stuff cooking for Season 2, and we're so excited for the day when we'll be able to share it with you. This has been your friendly neighborhood GM, Zach. Until next time, keep your head held high and let your tears flow without shame. We are all of us alive, and that is miracle enough to keep going. Have a great day. So you've got your outfits. Um, how do you spend your last night before the gala? Should we like? Uh, should we investigate at all? Like, what? What's with this gala? What's the purpose of it? Nemo, do you know? Um, uh, I'm here. <laughs> I mean, I'm part of your party. Uh, Jameson is here. Calico and Charlie are also here, and so is Daria. We're a whole crew. Yeah. Uh, I'm just saying all the people who are here so that we remember. Um, I mean, she said like the summit that the invitation said that that they've got they want to show off their advancements. Um, and he thinks and he says, "Well, well, um, Argent is metalworking, right? So." So maybe maybe they've got a new alloy. Maybe they've got a new type of smithing. What if they stole fontanium somehow? Well, how could they have gotten it? We have most of the fontanium back at the bastion, and I don't know. I don't know. That was just my guess. 
Oh, I really, really quick note, by the way, everybody, just just really quick. While we're all here, before we get into any perilous situations, and I pull out a necklace uh, with a stopwatch on it. Like, it's like a stopwatch necklace. Mm-hmm. Like Flavor Flav. Yeah, okay, well... Um, <laughs> exactly no. like Flavor Flav. No, but uh, okay, it's a stopwatch <laughs> necklace anyway. And I, I, I hold it out and I say, I'm going to be wearing this at the gala... Just, and, uh... It's pretty. You don't need to know about... Thank you. I made it myself, and, uh, well, let's just say that it has some additional functions, okay? Does it stop time? No. It does not stop... No. It does not stop time. But the important, the important thing you know is you can set it... The watch doesn't spin around. It doesn't tell time. You can set it to different settings, like three, six, and nine... Whatever you do, if you have this watch, just don't set it to 12. Whatever you do, don't set it to 12. Just don't set it to 12. Is it going to blow it. up? Don't does do it. Blow it. Up? Don't do it. It blows up, doesn't it? It doesn't do it. Don't do it, okay? Is that understood? Yes. Oh, it blows up. Okay. Why would we be messing with the thing around your neck? I don't know. Just if I get, like, knocked out or something. Wait, what does it even do? Set it to 12. <laughs> don't. Whatever you do, what don't do What does setting it to three, six, and nine do? do? Here, okay, all right, fine. I'll I'll show you. Fine. Ooh. I um, I I set it to um. Oh. <laughs> shut, up. shut the hell up! <laughs> oh, God damn it! God. I set it to nine, right? Yeah. I set it to nine, and suddenly, um, from like the from like the back of my neck, this little like like metal wire shoots up and it like wraps around and slaps the clockwork amplification goggles on me. Ooh. Uh, ta-da. Oh. But Wait. they look but the, the goggles look very different, by the way. They this is the ampl- clockwork amplification goggles Mark II. Okay. To be clear, they did not come from out of your skin? No. Okay. <laughs> Just to no, make they, sure. no, they no. So they did not. it's it's like a gadget retriever? Yeah, essentially, yes. Uh I, I've hooked up this, uh, well, I've got a little, I got a little extra room in the outfit, so I could hook it up to, uh, sort of a harness, and the harness, it holds all my gadgets, just in case, and so, should be clandestine. I'm, I'm, okay. I am concerned about what 12 is, but I am going to let it go, for now. Why did you tell us to use it? 12 must be really bad. <laughs> <laughs> In case for some reason you need to use my gadgets, this is how you control it. Okay. All right. That's all. Um. <laughs> so we've just been introduced to the Chekhov's gun of this of this arc. Uh, eventually, uh, someone's gonna set that to twelve. <laughs> we'll see. It's gonna blow up. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll see what I happens. know what happens when it when it gets set to twelve. I know what happens. I made it. Adlan asks if everyone knows how to dance. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Uh-huh. Um, nope. Well, actually, uh, I hold on. Now, I, I, I mean, I've, I've danced before. We would have barn dances back in yeah, Borzon. Exactly. And... Folk dancing. Yeah. Oh wow! I can square I, dance. Oh no! Oh, you oh no! Too. Everyone! Wow. Oh. oh. Okay. Okay. Adeline, Adeline, like, like, looks at Ford in desperation. Like, you, you can dance yes. good, right? Yeah. Yes. You, okay. All right. Yes. Okay. Um. Okay, we have to teach them how to dance. We have about an hour before we have to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> mm. uh. <laughs> okay. I can pick it. I can pick up. I can pick it up super easy. Probably. It'll be yeah, su- sure. It'll yeah, be sure. It'll be great. No, I can. It's- I know how to do all kinds of dancing in low tide. It's really like ritualistic and weird and uncomfortable. <laughs> Look, Wait, it's dancing, just moving your feet around, is? right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there's also oh, weird hard. hand motions <laughs> that you gotta do. Okay, I think Radiant and I will be just fine. Right, Radiant? Yeah. Uh-huh. Here. Radiant, may I have this dance? You may. Let's show it. <laughs> okay. And I think, I think we just do, like, a really shitty dance. <laughs> Um, Radiant does like his version of folk dancing, and Zara does her version <laughs> of folk dancing. And it's yeah, just yeah. a disaster. <laughs> yeah, it looks okay. like that fucking. It looks like the peanuts when they're like stance into the. Uh, <laughs> to the Ra- at some point, Radiant does the macarena. It's like, oh, where do you land that? <laughs> okay. Ta-da. Um. Yeah. It. 
may I have this dance? Of course. <laughs> How great are we at dancing? So great. I think we're really good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Room, roll a uh, uh, defy danger dexterity. Oh, dexterity. Boy. That's not oh, fair. I want charisma. Huh? Hey, you're dancing. You're not singing. Can I roll strength? <laughs> no. <laughs> you plant your feet on the ground super hard. Hey. Hell yeah. That's a 13. <laughs> That's a 13. It's good that we're getting all our successes out on rolls that don't fucking matter. <laughs> That's true. Uh, hey, if people want to roll dice, I'll let them roll dice. You have to aid me. <laughs> okay. Oh, no. Oh, okay. This? I don't think I can help that. This? No, no, no. It's, it's, defense? It's, it's okay. No, no, it's okay. So, um, Adeline rolled a four. Yeah. Right. Um, I say that dancing is charisma. Maybe at the actual party, but right now you're showing off how to do it with your body. <sighs> uh, you're moving out of the way or acting quick. You're not, you're not using charm and social grace. Yeah, that's dancing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, either way, Ford rolled a big success, so Ford takes you up to a, a moderate. Thank you. Success. You're welcome. <laughs> um, it's okay. Ford is a better dancer than Adeline. Um, it is obvious, but Adeline is okay. It's been a while. <laughs> She's been to any it's fancy like, parties. It's, listen, it's not like it's not like your radiant can tell. <laughs> He's like, yeah. yeah. They're dancing at the same level. They're dan- <laughs> they are dancing. They are dancing. <laughs> so, uh, Nemo and Calico and Jameson and Dari are all watching you. Um, uh, and Charlie. Charlie said, Miss Fontaine, I can show you how to dance. Yeah, I'm like a, I'm like a, a really good dancer. Check this out. And he busts a move. Really? Well, I, sure. <laughs> oh dear! But is it like? Hey. Is it like what kind of? What, is it like bar is dancing it or is it like? What's he doing? <laughs> Does he yeah, break cr- dance? Yeah, he's crumping. Is he crumping? Um, Fuck. <laughs> uh, no, yeah. So he's he's he he like he's like all right. So here's what you got to do, and he and he like like takes Zara's hands and he says, uh, Miss Fleetwood, yeah. Miss Fleetwood. Mm-hmm. Would you please play? Would you please play a waltz, please? Uh, yeah, like play the waltz on the on the mandolin. Yeah. Um, and Charlie's actually a good dancer. Oh hell yeah! Yeah, uh, he says back in uh, Azure Bay, uh, we would have these mixers every couple of months between us and the other unions, and well, uh, I stepped on some toes a couple of times, and then Maggie was like, "Charlie, you gotta make sure you stop stepping on toes." And so I, I went and I said, hello, Mr. Dance Instructor, will you please teach me how to dance good? And he <laughs> said, yes. <laughs> and so I did. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm laughing. Um, <laughs> it's a funny story. <laughs> <laughs> so Charlie, but Charlie's the, Charlie is Charlie, uh, Azure Base Most Eligible Bachelor, um, helps Zara dance. Not anymore. Now he's the, the best Young's Most Eligible Bachelor. We have him now. Yeah. You got him. Um, Jameson is a is a forest farm boy. He doesn't know how to dance. Nemo and Darlia definitely know how to dance. Yeah, of course. Does Calico? No. <laughs> <laughs> same hat. You want me to teach you, buddy? Calico, we are the same. <laughs> no, I would rather not learn how to dance. I, you I, sure? <laughs> He pulls his scarf over his mouth and he says, I dance the dance of death. <laughs> oh, God. What an asshole. Uh, Ford does laugh. His, his ears are, like, down. Oh. Hey, but it's okay. Trust me. It's not. Dancing ain't that scary. Yeah. Right. This scene ends with just everyone just dancing and or arguing about dancing. Yeah. It's a good night. <laughs> Um, the next day, you are brought up onto. You are allowed to enter into Silverhome. Um, Silverhome is fucking huge. It's a big, big, big ass castle. Oh man, this is gonna take forever to load. Ooh. Um, Ooh, map. 
map, 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 it's gonna take a second to load. It's darkness. I see dark. Dark. Holy shit! It's like one of them eyes wide shut. Good lord! the deals. It's a big map. Holy Christ! Oh. Awesome. Yes. This is dope. Hell yeah. It's a big map. Yeah. Uh-huh. So, so yeah, you're... The way that this works is that you and all of your luggage are put on a gondola that is... That goes from the base of the mountain that uh, Castle Silverhome is on top of and takes you all the way up onto the peak where a bridge uh, on a, on a, no, not including the calves. Oh, no. Yeah. Um, those are not nearby. They're, I mean, you can, you can bring them as close to the top of the mountain as you can. As it's you want. okay. I can call them remotely. Yeah. If need be. <laughs> yeah, but they are not, yeah, they, they, you, you are brought up on a gondola with a luggage rack to a, the top of a mountain where this castle is. And from the top of this mountain, as you come up this morning, you can see for miles around just endless, endless expanses of of trees and mountains and stuff. Um, in the distance to the north, you see what looks like a mountain made of steel, ooh, shining like a beacon in the in the morning sun. Um. And 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 another one next to it looks like it's made of gold. Damn. And uh, uh, any of you who know about history, um, I guess you could spout lore. Ooh, this is not a role for me. I'm pretty good. Shit. I'm pretty. I'll I'll do a spout lore. I'm pretty good at intelligence. An eight. Okay. Ooh. Um, you know that 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 it. Oh, sorry. I just bumped my mic. You know that it was said that at one point the ancient giants uh, saw fit to bestow these mountains to the to the to, to the Argent Dynasty, and that that much of their material wealth is is tied up in these mountains of metal. Well, <laughs> time to destroy the mountains. I uh, tell everybody that if they don't know that. Thank you. I did not know. Yes. <laughs> um, <laughs> Santana, fantastic, and um, and Hercules come up with you. They they are on the same gondola. Uh, friends. Um, and then you are given. Uh, you know, you are allowed to walk up. There are there are servants walking around. All of them are wearing the 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 pale blue and silver trim uh, of the Argent Dynasty as as people are disembarking and um, there's this there's this big court, like lower courtyard at the bottom mm-hmm. um, where people are like milling about so you see you see a few people um, there's a woman in uh, there's a woman in like a, a sort of like icy blue uniform um, of a different blue than the um, than the servants argent mm. people. Yes, um, hers looks like 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 ice, and she's got like a fur, um, almost like a like a fur trimmed sari. I think is what it's called. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and she has long black hair that, that, that goes down on one side uh, and is pinned up on the other side and bright yellow eyes. Um, you also see a... Is this a human also? Yes. 
Also, as far I'm as you like, can tell. I'm literally just imagining a Symmetra. It is literally Symmetra. Yeah, that's what I figured. Uh, yeah. Um, you see, you see a, a young person with, um, like shaggy brown unkempt hair. Not unkempt, but like just kind of wild and curly, who is like kind of like over off to the side, not talking to people, but is like crouched down and playing with a, with a wolf dog. Ooh. It seems to be like their companion, and they've also got like a hawk on their shoulder. Ooh. Are they also human? Uh, they are also human, yes. Okay. Um, you see a, uh, a, a woman in, uh, oh, the, the person in the, in, with the, with the wolf is wearing, uh, a yellow, like, um, Baronese, uh, formal uniform with black trim. Mm. Then there's a woman with, uh, a green, green clothes with a, with a, with a gold trim with, like, her sleeves rolled up, um, looking kind of uncomfortable. She's like, She's got like a very butch look going on and doesn't seem to know what to do with all these people. And is just kind of like looking around at a loss. And then you see two individuals in matching suits, one white and one black, wearing wide brimmed hats, uh, an orc and an elf. The orc is short and squat and the elf is tall and like skinny. Um, the elf has long, straight black hair, and the orc is bald. He looks like he's sweating, and he's like got a fan that he's fanning himself with. And they're kind of just keeping eyes on people. Couple. Cool. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah. So many NPCs to choose from. There's lots. I want to talk um, wolf, 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 wolf. <laughs> wolf. Okay. What do you, you run over to the wolf kid? Yeah. Uh, he they they look um they look kind of like startled by your by your like uh, appearance, um like the fact that you ran up to them and they're like, "Hello." Hey, is that like a? I didn't know you could bring pets. That's super cool. What's what's their name? Oh, uh, he's he's not my, he's not my pet. He's my like uh, best friend and and like partner. Oh, hell yeah, even better. What's their name? What's his name? Ah, uh, his name is Cassius. Also, he didn't say hell. Oh, okay. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. <laughs> Heck yeah. His, name is, his name is Cassius. He helps me hunt um, the things that run in the ground, the things that are big and scary in the woods. That's, su- what's, that's super cool. What's your name? Joran. Uh, Joran, Joran von Jäger. And they they like straighten up their their sash and they and they there's like a a J badge on their on their coat and they said I'm the um I represent Jaeger the the family of Jaeger oh what's what's Jaeger do are they also metals we hunt and hunting that's great that's better than metals. We, we hunt and we we raise livestock and um we're the we're the best <laughs> so far you guys do sound pretty great hunting is pretty cool. And like yeah. metals, you could do a lot, but like animals, animals are great. We have so many alligators in low tide, and oh. they're like the best. And I have an axolotl, and his name is Chella. Um, if there were like, <laughs> if there are like picture wallets in this universe, Radian would have one with like pictures of his axolotl. Can he um, have a tiny, are... a tiny painted portrait? <laughs> <laughs> He has a locket with a <laughs> tiny portrait of his axolotl. <laughs> one side is some, oh, one side is somehow his entire family, and the other <laughs> one is the axolotl. <laughs> oh boy! Keep God close to your heart, kids. <laughs> so, so people are people are like milling about, getting stuff ready, and Ford. You hear? I mean, everyone hears it, but like it's directed at you. You hear? You! Oh shit! From the top of the stairs, this the these the there's a set of stairs that goes up to a to a higher like pavilion. Uh huh. And you and you see a young human man running down the steps full sprint. Get him! Get him! Um, oh. He he is tall and pale and thin, 
Um, he has one side of his head shaved, and you can see that there are scars from maybe a bottle being broken against his head. <clears throat> Um, the rest of his hair is long and, and falls to one side like an undercut. Skrillex. He also has... Thank you. I was getting to that. He also has facial piercings and large black framed glasses. <laughs> Thank you, God. Thank you. Oh my God, it's is so it weird. really It's really fantasy Skrillex. <laughs> It is Anthony Argent, the heir whose head you smashed last time you met him. I brace myself. <laughs> and he says, how, of all the seas, how dare you come back here to my home, to the place where I live, with my family. <laughs> you disrespect me with your very presence, so you so monster, you beast. Whoa. Um, keep keep going, <laughs> please. It's been a while since I heard so many compliments. And then you hear, Anthony, there's no cause for that. You're speaking to a guest of the family. And then, and it's this like voice that is soft spoken but loud enough that everybody can hear it. And and everybody turns to look at this one. Everybody turned to look at, at, at Argent fucking screaming his head off at you. <laughs> um, and now everybody turns in turn to look at, oh, not that, <laughs> to look at this, uh, woman who stands at the, at the top of this, of this balcony looking down on everybody. She is wearing the, um, you know, the, the colors of the Argent family, uh, the blue and the silver. She also has a cape that covers one side. You can't. You can only see one of her arms. No arm, metal arm. As it flaps, you realize she only has one arm. Ooh. Um, she has sh- like a bob length, uh, wavy hair that is pinned on one side. So it's kind of an asymmetrical bob cut in this uh sunset ombre. Hmm. Oh my god. She has like pink eyes. Ooh. And and this very like suntan skin with, with like her face has scars on them, like battle scars, but they all like accentuate these very sharp, handsome features. And the clouds break and the mid morning sun sort of just bursts out over this courtyard and it lights her up and for the lot of you standing on the ground uh, 15 feet below looking up at her it is like she is on fire but not not a bad kind of fire like she looks down at you and her eyes are bright and warm and so happy to see you and then she looks up at everyone and she says my name is Florian von Argent and I welcome you to Castle Silverhome 